You ever play a sport in grade school and there was just that one team you played against that had a bunch of kids that had like beards coming in? They were three times your size and they but definitely weren't like grade schoolers. Well, to be honest, that's what the top of the ranked leaderboard seems like. A bunch of freak of nature kids playing in these little league games. Seriously, look at their match history. It's all full of match and team MVPs and they never lose. Some of these guys have over a thousand RR and they keep climbing. Like what are they feeding these guys? Like steroids mixed with like a super soldier serum? Anyways, in today's video, we're diving to five of the most played agents by some of these top Radiant players, watching their gameplay, and break down how you can implement some of what they're doing in your own ranked games. But a preface, we aren't looking at the best of the best players, but instead, the best of the best of the best, meaning like the top 25 or so ranked Radiant players. So let's get started. Hey everyone, before we get into the video, remember, if you're looking to play any of these agents at the top level, over at skullcop.com, we have a bunch of agent-specific courses that are made by actual Radiant One Tricks. These are top 500 players that literally have thousands of hours on one agent alone, sharing everything they've learned with you. This is by far the fastest way to build Agent Master in Valor. So if you're really looking to improve fast, be sure to check out skillcap.com. But for now, let's get into the video. Now, at the top of our list comes everybody's favorite Instalock, no com agent, Jet. Now, why is that? Well, to make a long story short, Jet is stupid broken, and the best of the best know how to abuse her kit. Also, everyone locks her at this rank, literally. Almost every top Radiant that I looked at either locked Jet or Chamber, who we'll talk about later. Her dash essentially gives her a whole extra life and allows her to play in such risky spots and get away without getting punished. Meaning, if you misplay or accidentally put yourself in danger, you have the chance to get yourself more kills. But the issue with that is that pros don't misplay, so giving them an extra life every round makes all the more impact. They don't need the extra life, so they're able to abuse the dash to do some crazy things. And not only is her dash nuts, it goes hand in hand with everybody's most feared weapon, the Operator. Now, I'm not gonna break down the weapon or anything because you guys know how it works. It's extremely hard to trade and it's a really high risk, high reward type weapon that Jet can squeeze the most value out of. You just can't trade her after she uses it. Let's take a look at a clip from XS Jet Main and constant top 10 Radiant, Cryo. Remember how I said her dash is basically a get out of jail free card? Well, this is why. No other agent can pull off plays like this. Swing hookah as the round starts, get one, and get away so unpunished. Now you might be thinking, but Teets, I peek all the time on Jet, but I get punished all the time. Well, that's the thing. You don't always have to. What I see all the time from Jet One Tricks is that they're always playing in these aggressive positions and taking unnecessary duels. Like a Sentinel switches up their setups, you should be switching up your play styles. This next clip sort of demonstrates this better. Cryo plays a one, and well, not so done because he's Jet, but notice how he isolates one angle at a time and saves his dash until he has to get out. I mean, he messes up his dash, but I wanted to use this clip to emphasize the fact that you don't need to swing everything every round, especially when you aren't doing so hot. It never hurts just to hold an angle and then get out when you get yours. And that's what Jet's good at. Now the next agent on our list is going to take some of you by surprise, but Asuna is a top 10 Radiant and I'm seeing a lot of these other top players fragging out on KO, and I love it. It's so nice to see a support player being locked by the best of the best. He's just fun to play. Kao can make plays for himself, his teammates, and overall, his kit is just really useful. He has overpowered flashes that you can't hear, a knife that can get info, stall a push, or a molly that hits like a truck, and his ult is just honestly one of the strongest in the game. It gives you a free sight. You just get to plow everybody over. Well, let's take a look at this clip from Asuna, and this is what I mean when I say that Kao, while being an initiator, can make some crazy plays for himself. Like I said, you can't hear his flashes go off, and you see pros constantly abusing the low fuse time on the right click flash. It's just hard to play against. If you're playing against a good KO, it'd be a good idea to play anti-flash in most situations. So if KO is abusing his flashes, your teammate can swing and either get the trade or even save your life. Here's another clip. So as you can tell, KO's great is making his own plays, but just don't abuse your flashes every round because like I said, you'll become predictable and probably get punished. So our next agent honestly makes a lot of sense, considering that Jet is the most picked agent. Valorant's newest Sentinel, Chamber, is extremely similar to her, and the fact that she can put herself in stupid spots and get out with ease, his teleports work pretty similarly. And if you look at a lot of Radiant's careers, it is littered with Chamber. His trademarks are nuts, his teleport is nuts, his ultimate is nuts, but what isn't nuts is how some of you are playing him. We recently did a couple chamber videos to recommend you check out. One being a smurf commentary where I play in a silver and gold lobby where I only have 8 shots around and no comes. And the other is about 5 useful tips that these pro players use in their game. But to keep it short, people aren't spacing out their trademarks, they push everything every round, and aren't using chamber's kit to its fullest potential. But if you play chamber like you're supposed to, you start seeing why a lot of pro teams are subbing out their cypher or killjoy for this new sentinel. Now, with that being said, watch how everybody's favorite Duelist 10s takes advantage of Chamber's overpowered kit. 
The Hulk clip is honestly pretty sick, but I really want to emphasize the first kill and how impactful it really was. So Chamber's ultimate, like I mentioned, is pretty scary. And if a team runs into it, they have to stop, figure out what to do next, and then probably run away. In ranked, people aren't coordinated and indecisive, so what usually ends up happening is that people wander around, die, and then the round's just over. But what I expect from most low rank chamber players is that they'll keep repeeking after that first kill and not get out. Had 10s gone for more, there would have been a solid chance he gets traded and then all that pressure he created is gone, and then the enemy team feels a lot more comfortable. So if your jet does get locked, lock chamber. He's still really good, and if you know how to play him, your teammates will love you. Now, why are there your remains in the top 20 Radiant list? So there's a few names here that you might not recognize, but two being Cody and Who Framed Me are two insane your remains that climbed all the way to the top using this agent. How? How could such a bad agent hit that rank? Well, let me tell you something. A common trend between all of these agents I'm talking about is that they can all make plays themselves. And if you want to pull yourself out of any rank, the easiest way to do that is by, well, making the plays yourself. Now, don't take that the wrong way, because when I say make plays yourself, I do not mean just running it down and expecting to get four every round. That's just not possible. But everyone in this list knows how to ask their teammates for help to set themselves up. But at the same time, if your teammates suck, they can more easily play for themselves. And that's where I think people get confused. Everyone says that you can carry yourself out of any rank with good mechanics and by locking Jet, but the players who rank up are the ones who know how to ask their teammates for help, use teamwork to make plays, and like I said before, know when they are overheating or overpeaking. So let's watch some of these plays that I'm talking about. Yorvish's new kit isn't bad. People clown it constantly, but if used by someone that actually knows how to play the game, it just works. Listen to how Who Framed Me communicates to his team, and at the same time, can make plays for himself with the operator and his overpowered flashes. I'm gonna use my ult for information. I'll handle this. Clearing. One here, sight. Yeah. Ult that fucker. I'm clearing tower. Tower clear. He's yeah. arcade holding cross. 30 awesome. seconds left. One yeah. enemy <laughs> remaining. Spike down. He's beam. dead. His new kit allows him to play some serious mind games with the opponent. Don't expect to pick him up and just carry instantly. Just like with every agent, he's gonna take time to pick up and learn. Learn his limits, how people react to his decoy, and honestly, he's just a ton of fun. So stop shaming our boy Yoru. He's not that bad. Show some respect. And now lastly, if you look at the statistics, the most played agents in rating Q are Jet, Reyna, Sova, and Chamber. But if you look at the best of the best of the best players in the leaderboard, you don't see Sova or Reyna at all. And honestly, there's a bunch of agents that can fill in this last spot. So don't get me wrong, Sova and Reyna are good agents, but I don't wanna talk about them. That's boring. But instead, let's talk about the big and buffed newest controller, Brimmy. And to be fair, he does have the fifth highest pick rate in Radiant. I mean, somebody has to play smokes every game. And it seems like Brimstone is the meta right now in ranked. His smokes last a long time and are honestly the best in the game. His stim beacon allows you to swing everything and his molly like just lasts forever. On maps like Splitterbind, his ultimate covers so much space and can win you rounds, like in U-Haul or Vents. I mean, his kit's pretty straightforward. You smoke, you throw his molly, you stim beacon a little bit, and that's about it. Nothing fancy, nothing you have to think about. And if you're a newer player, I highly recommend Brimstone being your first agent so that you can pick up the basic fundamentals of the game before you can get some more complicated agents like Cypher or Sova. Let's take a look at V1's controller main and IGL, that's Xander. Brimstone is so basic. You throw his smokes down, then you focus on shooting people. You love to see it. So if you don't want to think and just focus on shooting people and shooting your teammates, I highly recommend you pick up Brimstone. He's stupid simple. But this is all just one of the depth guide that we have on our website though. Also, if you want a chance at having your VOD reviewed, be sure to subscribe on our website at skillcout.com. We also have tons of Radiant Smurf commentaries. We have Radiant players walking through exactly how to play in any situation at any rank. And they're just super helpful to see in real time what goes through a top tier player's head. Like I said, it's also backed by a rank improved and guarantee and the reason to do that is because you're just that confident that our service works and if it doesn't work while you're using it you shouldn't pay what are you waiting for you got nothing to lose head on over to skillcap.com and get started on your way to that rank that you deserve so hopefully i helped you guys learn a thing or two about some of these talented players and how they play they put a lot of time into their craft and many of them have a ton of years of experience in fps's so don't be discouraged if you can't do what they're doing. You'll get there, you just gotta keep grinding. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel down below. It really does help us out. And that's all for us. I'm Teets, and we here at Skullcap want to thank you all for watching, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.